going to be a quick tutorial that shows you how to get started with um, working with text and custom paths in Illustrator. So the first thing I'm going to do in Illustrator is I'm going to go to File, New, create a new document, and I've got letter size, which is fine, and I can choose it to be a landscape or a portrait format. I'm going to choose portrait. Okay, now from here, I'm going to start off with my pen tool. Go over here, click on pen tool, push P on the keyboard. I'm going to set my stroke to zero, and I'm going to set my fill color to none. So I'm essentially making an invisible line here, and I'm just going to click, and I'm going to make this nice wavy, curvy line here. And if I were to click off of it, it appears to disappear, but if I select and drag over, you can see it's still there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to Microsoft Word or any text editor, and I've got some stuff typed up already. And these are some things that I'm going to uh, place into my text portrait. And you want your text to kind of connect with what your what your image is. So I'm doing a, a portrait of myself being uh, a goofy art teacher, and here I've got a bunch of things that I like to do with my students. So I'm going to now go to my Type tool, drag down to the Type on Path tool, and if I just mouse over here, hover over with the mouse, you'll see when I intersect with that, it appears. I'm going to go to the beginning of the path there, click, and then do Command-V to paste. I've gone over here, I selected the text I wanted, I did Command-C to copy. Go over here, Command-V, as in Victor, to paste. And you can see it's filled the line there. Now, if I do uh, Command-A, that selects all of the text, and I can go here and make the text uh, larger. I can choose uh, custom typefaces up here as well. Maybe it's a little too big to make it small enough so that all the words fit on there. And if uh, for some reason I made it, you know, I wanted my text to be this big, what I might need to do is uh, use multiple lines. Of course, you're going to end up doing a whole lot of layering and changing colors and everything like that. Um, but you can also extend that line. So I'm going to go in here with my, uh, my direct select tool, and I'm going to just mouse over till I see the word pop up. Well, I can grab the path. That's going to move the whole thing, but I want to find the anchor. Oh, no, 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 not you again. This works perfectly fine until I start making a video for you guys. There we go, anchor. So now if I drag... <clears throat> come on now. Click off of it, click onto anchor and drag it. I can extend that uh, line out. And now you can see all the text fits on there. Now, of course, it doesn't fit onto the page, so maybe I can rotate it. Um, maybe I end up needing to, you know, scaling the whole thing down or something. And I can get it to fit all on there. Now, uh, the next thing I can do, I can go back with my type tool, click on that, so I'm able to, you know, type in here. And I'm going to do Command A again to select all. And if I shift click on the fill color, here I am able to choose custom colors for the text. Okay, so you're going to want to involve at least different value. If you're going to do it in a in a grayscale, you can have um, you can just choose black and then you know different shades of gray. Or if you want to do something that really involves a lot of color, that's fine as well. Okay, and then I can just command, hold down command, and click off anywhere here and it sort of deselects things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue copying and pasting all these uh, words, sentences, etc. into different lines on here and I'm going to start actually just drawing out the shape of the face. Oh, and I forgot to uh, clear that out so I'm going to shift click, put that to none. Okay, and I'm going to just continue to just draw out uh, as much of the face as I need to and then start adding the text to it. Okay. Um, try to use custom fonts. If you want to use a picture in the background, you can set up a, a layer with a photograph on the background and use that as well. Just make sure that's not a, a copyrighted work. Um, and that should put you in pretty good shape. Thanks for watching.